What's up, gang? Today we're out here uh, close to Fish Pass Jetties camping. I'm camping with Big Rich, another YouTuber, and Stanfield Tackle. You can see the setup we got here. Stanfield Tackle's over there. He even brought a freaking pit out here, a smoker. And then we got Big Rich over here. And then you got the beach bum over here. Got his setup ready to cook tonight. We're gonna be cooking some fish or some uh, chicken leg quarters and beans. Everything from the canopy set up to flags. I tried to put the kite up, but it didn't work too good. Got the refrigerator freezer over here with all the chicken, the breakfast and eggs and sausage and all that. Inside the tent's looking pretty sweet. And getting ready to cook. Tonight I'm gonna cook early. I ain't gonna eat at nine o'clock because I'm starving. So let's go down and see what these guys are doing. He's got a, uh, a little boat to take the bait out, which is cool. So we're gonna go look at that real quick and then I'm gonna get some poles out in the water. But the surf is beautiful today. It's a little, well, when I pulled up here, it was a little chilly, but since I was working on the camp there, it's kind of warm. That thing's cool. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> wow. He dropped it out past that, uh, I don't know if you saw where he dropped it. No, I just seen it coming in. Like past that, you see that last brown little brown water uh -huh. out there a little bit past that dropped it out there yeah so it's a good ways out that thing's awesome <laughs> better than a drone drone is a pain yeah well this thing you can go anywhere yeah that thing's cool yeah it really is cool i love it so what's the red and yellow look like beach ball thing it helps it when it uh flips over really yeah it's right itself back up so what do you? I have a light that can go on here too. So oh, you do? Yeah, so it has like a red and uh, green. So what? Uh, what do you got on the bait as far as bait? I got jack on this one. Oh, you do? Stingrays. So I guess do you want to use stingray? Yeah. Okay. Don't come up. I'm gonna use a stingray on the other one, and then I'll use uh, you know mullet. I'm popping the rigs. You know, see how it's going. That's freaking cool. I got to give you one. I'm not even going to ask you how much it costs because yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You have to ask my wife on that one. Like, I mean, I've seen them for over like 12, 13, 1300 bucks. So, yeah, sure. but it took forever for them. Um, yeah. It took like almost like 12 months. Really? That's yeah. sweet though. Now, oh, dang it. I don't want to spend any money, but I don't have to give me one now. <laughs> more toys. More yeah, toys. more toys. I need something like that. All right, guys. I shouldn't have seen that because I just bought a new freezer for my garage and uh, I got some patio furniture coming so I really really want that thing that way I never have to get in the water again man so that's sweet so we're gonna get some poles in the water and uh, see if we can catch some pompano or whatever's biting the surf is pretty cool looking today but again you can see the camp there's a lot of butterflies it's a beautiful day today with all these butterflies flying around and everything it's pretty cool all right, y'all. We're gonna be using fish bites as usual. Shrimp flavor. We're also gonna be using some cut mullet and some shrimp as well. I'm kind of crowd overcrowded here because I'm out here camping. So normally I don't I don't carry this much stuff. But with me camping, a little bit different. We got pink and white easy shrimp. We got orange and yellow we got green we got orange and then we got some fish gum and then we're over here we got some shrimp and some mullet and stuff like that decided to use the pink and white and the green to start out with and then we're gonna bait the uh, single hook with the uh, mullet since there's a trout floating around out there Maybe we'll get lucky and hook into a trout. So we got green on one, orange and white on the other, and we're gonna see which one gets hit first. The water is really, really nice today. It's not bad surf at all. So there's bait fish out here, yeah! Oh, Lord, that water's cold. There's something on there already. I 
I don't think so. So that's two poles out. We'll get the third one out. Hey, you know why that trout's out there? There's a whole school of anchovies. Yeah, right there past about where the first wave, or those waves just broke right there where it's brown out, a yeah, little bit past go. that. That water is cold. Yeah. I mean, for 77 degrees, it's cold. Yeah, it's oh yeah, it's a good size one too. Uh, so Look at that. Oh man, my GoPro is freezing up. So just keep hard, Yours does that too as well, right? Yeah. Nice pompano there. I guess it's gonna save a pan or whatever. That's probably good. Yeah. You had that out there about the second gut? Yeah, I cast it yeah a little bit past that. In that wave out there. Fish bites? Yeah. Well, I got out there. Uh, 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 soft cured shrimp I made the other day. Oh you did? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah it is. When I walked out there I didn't see any of this out there. Yeah, I it's this is the stuff I don't like. Yeah. I don't like leaving it, honestly. No, I don't either, but <laughs> this is harder to get off. Hard head off the ladyfish, first fish of the day. like crazy man that big old pile of seaweed man look at all that jeez big rich fishing just gave me some salted shrimp and this stuff is really tough it looks like it's gonna stay on the hook man so we're gonna try that we're gonna send that out there in the second gut and see if we can uh, catch us a pompano look at the size of that wave oh. don't be getting me let me get out there in the second gut with this. Look at that, man. That shrimp stayed on, guys. I'm going to be salting my shrimp from now on instead of wasting money. That shrimp stayed on. I cannot believe it. First time I've ever used salted shrimp. Yep. That's a good one. You want to kiss him? Yeah. No, no, no. You know, fast? Mm -hmm. I like that salted shrimp. Oh, will you put this oh, yeah. on? Yeah, I was. It didn't come off. It didn't oh, come you, off. You put this on? Rick is going to get you. Yeah, he's coming in. There he goes. I let him swim over there and I'll catch him again. I didn't catch him, he did. Well, these guys over here are catching fish, man. I think I'm in the wrong spot. They're right here, I'm right there, and they're catching fish, and I'm not. Yep, there he is. Mean looking stingray. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to start a fire here with the ferro rod and a new company has sent me a, a new ferro rod and a knife. It's called Holtzman's Holtzman's and I'll put the link down underneath the description of this video. Uh, so you guys, if you're interested in this, you can purchase it. Let's take a look and see what they sent me in the box. All right. Looks like we got a knife. And then we got a small fire starter and miscellaneous parts. Looks like we got the uh, sheath or whatever it is for the knife. 
and some other miscellaneous parts here. And then I don't know what this part is. I'll have to read up on it and see. But the main thing is we're going to try out is we're going to try the, the, the fire starter and see if I can get a fire started. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this started with this uh, fire starter. The, the rod's not long enough, I don't think. I mean, it's creating spark. That was a good spark. There's another one. Get it going good. It does spark pretty good now. Yeah, I do it like that all the time. Okay. Yeah, but I'm you. Somebody, a company sent me a little, a, a new product. Oh. I'm used to a bigger rod, where I could go like that. So I'm trying to get this, where it, I mean, I had it sparking pretty good. Come on. I can get it going good. It does spark pretty good now. Come on. There we go. Look at that. What the <laughs> Girl, that's toy. This thing started sparking big time. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it worked pretty good. Dang, that was that was really fast. Actually, <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little bit longer than that. I had to work on that. Yeah. Ever since I started starting fires like that, uh -huh. I, I don't I don't want to use a match or a lighter or anything yeah. like that. I just want to keep doing it until I get really good at it. I used to do that with my my friend whenever we go camping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that this little thing did that. I mean, look, see the black on the one side and then that. Mm -hmm. I mean, black some kind of phosphorus or something. I think I don't know, but maybe it's a protective coating. That yeah, because normally you'll scrape it. Like if you got some paper towel down here, you'll scrape it and you'll see the black. Maybe and then you spark it real good and it hits. Magnesium to it or something. Yeah, it worked. It worked pretty good. I was surprised. It's. I mean, it started sparking real good. All right, guys, this uh, little ferro rod, it actually worked really, really good. I'm really surprised on how good striking it with this uh, this knife on the backside here. So you could see right there where it's kind of scraped off. It really started putting out sparks. So again, it's uh, hopefully I'm saying this correctly. I'll go ahead and let you guys see the box. It's Holt, Holtzman's, Holtzman's fire starter knife kit. All right, there you go, guys, dinner. Some bracho beans, Earl Campbell sausage, and some asparagus with butter and stuff like that. Nothing really special. Uh, I wanted to make something quick. That way I can eat and then go to bed and be up early in the morning, make some breakfast and catch some uh, fish. See, it's pretty beautiful tonight. That fire going good. There's the final product, guys. Earl Campbell sausage, brat, brocho, I forget how to say them, brocho beans, and some uh, asparagus, a little burn on the ends with uh, melted butter. So we're fixing to eat that. guys day number two early in the morning I don't know it's about 839 got three lines out Stanfield tackle and big rich fishing they got a couple lines out they already caught a bonnet head shark already I've caught nothing man I'm using the same type of bait as they are I've got mullet on that pole 
uh, orange fish bites, shrimp flavor, and shrimp, and orange fish bites and shrimp flavor, and and uh, shrimp on that one too. Well, that's all I was left with that pompano. Oh yeah. Just that piece right there. <coughs> that stingray. Yeah. This will stay on there all day. That thing is sweet. So that's the controller right there. Yeah. You just use that. Yep. How far can it go out? <laughs> I don't know. I only have a 50 wide, so. Really? Uh, okay. I can go as far as I'm comfortable with so far. I took my. I went the furthest I've ever gone with it just today. <coughs> and I uh, put the biggest bait I've ever done on it. So you just hook it up like that, huh? That thing's sweet. Oh wow, look at that. I think it's pretty quick. There it goes. Cool. Probably can't see it, man. I should have put the drone up, followed it. Riding a wave. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get one of those. Yeah. See, once you don't have like extra, you know, weights and stuff like that, uh -huh. this thing really flies in the air. Does it? Yeah. Or sometimes those pops will swim in. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Had where and you like, don't know. I don't got anything, and then it's like, oh, wait a second, yep. hold up. Okay. All these butterflies, man. That is it. I can't tell. It looks like a pop. Yeah, it's popping up. Yeah, you're just going cast them. What is that, like your fifth one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they must be out there where I, I'm not hitting or something. Yeah, same here. Oh yeah, I was getting about out that far yesterday, but I had to wait out there. But yeah, it must be something right here in this area. Cause you think we'd be hitting Pompano on this side over here and over here too. Yeah. But I don't know. Look at that. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> size one. All right, that's it, guys. I'm going with a 12 foot rod, so I can cast a little bit further, because there should be no reason why I'm not catching any Pompano, because I'm using the same bait. And I think it's something in that spot because there's a lot of shells that are just like washed up in one, one specific spot. Uh, look at all these freaking butterflies, man. They're just everywhere. But I, I only got two bites and that was yesterday. Today I have not gotten anything. I mean, my poles are just standing straight up. They ain't bending, they ain't doing nothing. So 
you know, fish bites and shrimp on two poles and uh, uh, a, a whole mullet on this pole right here and not even a single bite, so I don't know. And that's where he was fishing yesterday in that same spot kind of, so maybe there's a cut right there between the sandbars, which he's actually hitting in. I don't know, but on this side and the other side, I'm not catching anything. So this might be just a little camping episode and stuff like that. I mean, you guys see fish being caught, but it ain't being caught by me. So last night it was a little bit chilly and uh, there was so much dew, everything got wet. But look at these butterflies. I don't know if you guys can see them all, man. They're just freaking everywhere. I mean, they're heading to Mexico, I guess. A bush potato omelet coming up. Guys are lucky I can't find my chef hat. <laughs> oh, you have a chef hat? Yeah, I have a big one. I got a pirate hat. You want to put that on? <laughs> a pirate hat. Getting the sausage all brown. And then we'll cook the potatoes in the sausage grease. And we'll be good to go with some eggs and some spinach and uh, corn and peas. Well, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I didn't catch any fish, but at least there was fish caught in the video, man. I mean, right, they were right beside me, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because I couldn't get it out as far as uh, uh, they could. But anyway, guys, as I was about to leave, I dropped the trash off and everything, and I, one of my straps came loose. The strap came loose here, and it was flying up on my hood, right? So I was pulled over the road on the side of the road and fix the strap and I always I happened to walk back here just to make sure all the straps were good on my trailer and I noticed a freaking fire a real fire guys let me show you what happened here when I came back here this was on fire this is a dry box there's nothing stored in there or anything that would cause a fire I don't know if you guys can see the hole where the fire was right it was on the outside and it went inside the dang box here and I had everything strapped down here. So I had to hurry up, thank God I had some water on me, and get this undone and to throw some water in there from this five gallon water tank here. Thank God I had water left. Now there's nothing in there that's flammable in here, but over here there's like six small bottles of the butane or protein for my, my stove in here. So thank God. If, I, if that strap wouldn't have came loose, I'd going down the road and this whole thing would have been on fire and I wouldn't even known it until I seen smoke and flames. By that time, I would have seen a huge explosion and I would have lost everything, my rooftop tent, every freaking thing. So I, I don't know what happened here. I do not know what happened to cause a fire right there where that hole is. There's nothing in, in there that, that, you know, I don't, everything is just kites and, and, um, you know, stuff like that. There's nothing in there that would start a fire. So it, I really don't know what the heck caused the fire right there. But I can tell you what, that was a close one, man. Thank God that strap came loose. If that strap wouldn't have come loose, I would have never stopped until I seen smoke and flames. By that time, it would have made it all the way back to the back where the, the canisters are with that propane in it. And, and there would have been a huge explosion behind me. 
and there's lighter fluid and everything. All that stuff's in this one here. So thank God it wasn't in that one there. Man. So the fire, it had, when I come up here, it looked like it started on the outside and it went inside the box. So I don't know what it's destroyed of mine that's inside there yet. I'll have to look and see when I get home. I appreciate you guys watching this video, man. If you could uh, hit that like button or dislike button. There's also a thanks button. Uh, if you want to buy me some, uh, <laughs> some fire extinguishers. <laughs> <laughs> because man if I wouldn't had that water this whole thing would have burned up I would have been out here with a damn uh, wrench because I have it getting my rooftop tent off this thing man I'll tell you thank you God that had to be God telling me hey dude there's something your trailer's on fire or something but anyways uh, thank you Stanfield Tackle and Big Rich Fishing uh, that was fun camping out I'm going to go home and clean everything up, guys, because I got to go get me some work boots and stuff like that. So I, uh, I'm kind of in a hurry. Appreciate it. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next video. Peace, guys. I spend my days in despair, for in my mind.